Come along with me, Aisha A.K. Lesh of Living Lesh, as I wander the world with my girls, my husband and son, and sometimes by myself. And this time, let's go on a Caribbean cruise aboard the Valiant Lady with Virgin Voyages. We are at the airport super early, uh, ready to go. We are starting off our voyage to with Virgin Voyages. So we're at the airport. Up to board in a half hour, about a three hour flight to Miami, and then we'll meet the rest of the babes at Wonder and their men, and then we'll be taking a Caribbean cruise for the week. Okay. <laughs> After our flight, which we were filled with so much excitement, we landed in Miami where we were greeted by our rideshare service that we chose Alto. From the Miami airport, it's about a 13 to 15 minute drive. And once you head over that bridge, you can see the Virgin Voyages cruise ship right in your eyesight. At Terminal V, you'll find the Virgin Voyages cruise ship. Upon getting there, you'll check your baggage and they'll take it for your room where you'll find it once you are able to board. Depending on your status, you'll either get a red wristband or a black wristband. Black wristband are rock star statuses. They're able to get on the board about a little bit earlier than everyone else. And then upon getting on, they're actually able to go to a lounge where they'll get some drinks and snacks. And then once on the boat, they'll be a square to the manor where you'll have people who are able to help you make bookings change things and help you actually get excursions and fix any desert reservations that you're looking to have. It took about two to three hours upon boarding for our luggage to get to our room, but of course it depends on the cruise ship. Though you'll see some of the rockstar amenities shown in this video, we did stay in a sea terrace room. Sea terraces rooms are pretty standard and we actually stayed in the front part of the boat. It's a great room, there's plenty of space, and of course it's a cruise ship room, so you're not getting a full hotel room size. The Sea Terrace rooms have a balcony where you'll find a hammock as well as chairs, and you'll just find a comfortable room for you to stay in. We are now heading off. It is embarking time, I guess that you call it. So we are out, we're moving, we're leaving the Miami Bay. You see the party is going on, we got the girls here. Jess is over here doing some work, and we're leaving. We're actually turning very slowly. Here we go. It's now time to head off on the Virgin Voyage Caribbean Craze. When it's time to embark, the party starts. There's music, there's dancing, the bars are open, and if you are rock star status, you're actually invited to Richard's roof deck for a champagne toast. We got our champagne and came down to the whole party so we could set sail the Virgin Way. For our first night aboard the Valiant Lady, we went to Pink Agave. Pink Agave is a restaurant that specializes in Mexican cuisine and promotes a shared plate experience, which was perfect for our group of 10. With our group, we basically just ordered all the small plates for the entire table and passed them around. The tuna dish as well as the grilled corn were some of my favorites. And then of course I had to imbibe on some delicious cocktails that were paired so well with the small plates and the medium plates. You'll also see the menu is filled with medium plates and large plates. I heck recommend the bean soup for a medium plate. And when you're looking for your main dish, which is not something you'll probably pass around, I really like the smoked pork dish. It was absolutely delicious to eat there. We love that adapted to our large group and allowed us all to sit together and be able to see each other and share the food, as well as just have great conversation as we all got used to each other for our trip aboard the Valiant Lady. Just as you saw, immediately upon embarking, the party starts aboard the Valiant Lady. So our first night, we headed to the manor to enjoy a pajama party before calling it a night and getting ready for the rest of the days. Depending on what cruise you're on, your days may start with a big sailing day. So for my first day, I actually just enjoyed time out on the balcony, enjoying the view and getting ready for the day. Good morning everyone, today is our first full day here. I'm actually out on our uh, patio deck, whatever you want to call it, on the hammock. Um, so you can kind of see, I'm sitting here chilling. Um, but this is our first full day 
on the cruise, Caribbean craze. Uh, tomorrow we'll be in Costa Maya. Um, so we actually were able to get on Rockstar status. So we got on early, um, basically for everyone, they check you in, um, they take your bags. So for Rockstar, you actually get to go into a lounge um, a little bit early and get inside before everyone else. And then you're able to board the boat before everyone else. Um, and you're greeted, you walk around this gorgeous staircase, and then you go into the manor where um, there are you know, people from the crews that are helping to uh, help you with any reservations, any um, uh, booking of excursions, which we did. So we'll be doing some excursions. And then we went about our way. Food's open, so we got some food. We've been like touring the boat. Um, we were able to go into Richard's roof deck, you know, have some drinks. So we've just been enjoying the first day. Um, like I said, I'm here with the babes that wander and they're men. So we've been having a good time of bonding. We had a pool, a PJ party last night, um, which was super fun. And we're just like here, just enjoying. So here's today for our full day. I think on deck we have some tarot reading. Of course we have food, we have what we're doing. Um, and a couple of fun things. So we're gonna go hang out by the pool for a little bit um, and enjoy that time. On early mornings like this, I like to head to the pool. Even though there are so many things to do aboard the Valiant Lady, the two pools that I loved visiting, depending on which one was busy or not busy, was this circular pool as well as the other ship's longer pool. There are also hot tubs that you can find near the main pools, the circular pool, as well as on Richard's roof deck. If you're someone who likes to brunch like me, there are a couple of options of where you can eat brunch aboard the Valiant Lady. One of them is Razzle Dazzle. Razzle Dazzle is open for brunch as well as for dinner and does also supply the food at Bimini when you land there on the Caribbean craze. It is a bright eccentric restaurant. It's filled with a lot of red and silver and very bold colors that match with the Virgin Voyages vibe. It also has a great bar scene and there's some amazing cocktails there, including a popcorn cocktail that I highly recommend you trying. The brunch is super fun. We had brunch there on our first day of sailing and then actually had dinner there later in the week. Both times we ate there, the food was fun, it was delicious, and this restaurant does actually focus on healthier vegan and um, vegetarian food dishes. So if you're someone who has a dietary restriction, this is probably going to be the one restaurant that you'll absolutely love. The Virgin Voyages app will be your main gateway to everything aboard the cruise. It helps you to schedule reservations as well as excursions, and it'll give you the event lineup for all the activities going on aboard the ship. There are some activities where you can just go and show up, but there are some where you can make reservations and put in a ticket. So make sure you're paying attention to that event lineup. Looking for a place just to vibe out, enjoy the views, lounge back, get some sun, enjoy some cocktails, and have some bites. The dock is going to be your favorite place. Aboard the Valiant Lady, it's in the back of the ship. You'll be able to order a variety of different tapas, small plates, as well as different cocktails. If you're looking for a beach lounger to lay on and look out to the back of the sea, I highly recommend getting there early because this gets quite busy. And then later in the evenings, if you're looking for a place to enjoy luxury, just feel fantastic and get some great drinks before dinner, head to Sip Lounge. This lush and plush lounge was where we ended up every night before dinner to enjoy the champagne happy hour if it wasn't at Richard Roof Deck, as well as just to gather together and enjoy some cocktails. For our second night, we went to Gumbe, a Korean barbecue restaurant that is filled with tons of tons of fun that will have you bonding and playing games all night long. I'm ready. You're ready? You won last time, Elise? I won last time. Oh. During dinner, there are some fun drinking games that are played, and it left us laughing all night through. 
But as a small note, if you are going with a group that is large as ours with 10 people, you will have to be separated. Their largest table only fits eight and they say it's not quite comfortable, but splitting up into two still had us going back and forth and we still had tons of fun. One, two, four, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. No! Ah! One of the drinking games we played, we split between two tables and I actually lost with the ladies. But when we came back together with the men, I actually redeemed myself and won, but then lost to our server. To match the amazing cocktails and the fun games you get to play during dinner, Gumbe is a Korean barbecue restaurant that serves a variety of different great food. They do have gluten-free, vegetarian, and vegan options, so this is also a great restaurant for anyone with dietary restrictions. You'll be able to make the food at your table or your server can help you. And there's different types of foods such as bimbap, japchi, kimchi, and great food that you'll just love. I highly recommend trying everything and if you're able to, and then also recommend ending the night with some soft serve ice cream. I got this, the, the sesame twist ice cream with the little toppings and it was absolutely amazing. Then of course, after dinner, there's still so much to do. Aboard the Valiant Lady, there is a casino. Our men like to go there a couple times to gamble where they had different types of slots as well as tables to play different games. Right across from the casino is the manor. We love going there, seeing the twinkling lights, and of course, going there for the different themed parties every night, be able to dance, enjoy, and just mingle with different people aboard the ship. If there are any days or mornings where you just don't feel like heading out of the room for breakfast or brunch, you can have room service delivered. Just make sure that you go on the app and put in the order the day before because they do have cutoff times for orders. With our cruise aboard the Valiant Lady, we actually took a Caribbean cruise called the Caribbean Craze. And our first port day was at Costa Maya. Upon getting off the boat, you check out as what you do with any cruise by scanning your little wristband and you head into the port. The port at Costa Maya is filled with a little shopping area as well as a place where you can see fun things happening, cultural things happening, as well as to get some cocktails and just have some great fun experiences. It is day three. Yes. Day three. And we are up. Uh, we made it to Costa, Costa Maya uh, in Mexico. So we're in Mexico and we are about to actually go on an excursion to the Chochovin, Chochovin, I think I'm pronouncing it right, ruins. Um, there are multiple ruins options uh, for Costa Maya. We decided just to go with the ones just for the one ruins. Uh, we're going to come back and actually explore the, the port area. Uh, a little note when you are coming in from the cruise is to make sure you get off early because it is a hike down the port to, to check in for um, any tours you may be doing um, or just even just get to the little market that's around here but there are there's a lot going on there's multiple people checking in for a different excursion so we're about to head and learn some history at the Mayan ruins. Our excursion aka a shore thing was booked through the Virgin Voyages app. We were able just to get off the port, go directly to where it says from the app, and we headed out to the Coast and Mayan ruins. It was such a great day to be off the boat and enjoy some cultural explorations as well as to learn some new things before heading back on the boat later. Back on the boat, it was time for dinner again, and this night we actually headed to The Wake, which is an elegant seaside steakhouse restaurant. The Wake is open for brunch as well as dinner and serves a variety of different cocktails as well as dining options, which includes steak options as well as seafood. Sides are served for the table, and of course for dinner, I highly recommend getting a ribeye. But for appetizers, one of the best appetizers I really enjoyed was the bone marrow, and then the yellowtail crudo was also absolutely delicious. When 
you're on the ship, don't forget to head to a show. While we were on The Valiant Lady, they had a show running called Dual Reality, which was located in the Red Room. This acrobatic show, which is based off the story of Romeo and Juliet, was absolutely amazing to watch, and it was very interactive. To be able to sit on the floor and watch this was absolutely astounding and probably was one of the, my favorite shows while on the ship. After seeing Dual Reality, we headed back to the manor for another fun night. This night, it was the drag show. On every Virgin Voyages, whether on the Valiant Lady or on the Scarlet Lady, there is a diva who has a drag show that follows a different theme or just different show type depending on who the diva is. And they have these shows that are absolutely fantastic. They're interactive. There are some games. There's singing. I highly recommend it. You have to go. For this cruise after Costa Maya, our next day was actually at Roatan, Honduras. We landed bright and early and got off in our usual way and headed right into town center. So it is day three, four, four on one of the days. It's Wednesday. We made it to Roatan, which is in Honduras. Um, came off the boat, we are down at the port. Today we are actually doing an excursion um, and we are doing uh, the ATV jungle tour. So yesterday's excursion, we decided to do like individual. So it was just me and Jess from Miss Moore style that went and did the ruins excursion. While some of the other ladies did other excursions um, such as snorkeling, kayaking, um, like at the beach, um, biking. Today, as a group of 10, we're doing a jungle ATV tour. So it's a 45 minute tour through the jungle on ATVs. Everyone has their own ATV, so they told us so far. Um, and then we get to the beach, the private beach, and we get to spend about two and a half hours at the private beach, and then we head back. So we are checking in. Um, my husband and I are the first ones down checking in. Um, we're waiting for the rest of the group, and then we'll be on our way. For our ATV tour, we actually got in a car, were taken to the location where we rode the ATVs around the jungle. Upon ending the tour, we got back in the car, we were then taken to a private beach. The private beach offered ability for us to sit, relax, get some food, some drinks, as well as go snorkeling if you chose to. After spending a day in Roatan, we got back on the boat and got ourselves ready for dinner and Scarlet Night. That night, before heading out for the Scarlet Night party, we headed to Test Kitchen. Test Kitchen is a one part laboratory, one part cooking school, and one part restaurant. You'll actually be able to go there and the menu changes depending on which boat you're on and when you go. The prefix menu is laid out on your table, and the only thing you order upon being seated is either another cocktail to enjoy the entire dinner experience, or you can opt for a wine pairing or a cocktail pairing. The wine and cocktail pairings basically mean that you get a cocktail or wine that goes directly with whatever plate is being served on the menu. So you get a variety of different cocktails to try throughout the night, full-size cocktails, so just come prepared. I absolutely love the cocktail pairings and they went so well with each plate. I highly recommend getting it and investing in it so that you can take advantage of the entire food experience. dinner it was time for virgin voyages biggest party scarlet night scarlet night is all about the story of love and tells the tales of these different experiences that are had aboard the boat so make sure you bring your red and get ready for a fun night dancing singing and going through different experiences Right. <laughs> you can rent
a date with her at www. I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> a secret party on Scarlet Night. We're ready. Ready, Megan? I'm so ready. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so hot. They're so talented. They're also smart and funny and charming with great smiles. The initial part of Scarlet Night tells the tale of Scarlet Night. Then you're invited to a pool party where they're singing and dancing, and then after you watch the show, you're actually invited to jump in the pool yourself. Now, depending on when you go and what ship you're on, you may not be able to exactly jump in the pool, but you can dance in the shallow ends and then still walk yourself into the pool with your clothes on. It is a great experience, it's tradition, and it's something that you'll absolutely love. After the pool party, the fun continues where you can dance the rest of the night away at the manor. To recover from the excitement and fun of Scarlet Night, we decided the next day to head to the spa. The Redemption Spa is an oasis aboard the Valiant Lady. You can elect to just get a pass to go in and find tranquility and self-preservation. You can get into the mudroom, go into the sauna, get into the pools, or even elect for some services such as a seaweed wrap or a hot stone massage. We decided just to elect for the pass and we chilled out in the sauna as well as the steam room and then even just hung out in the hot tub to basically just reset from all the fun and excitement from the nights before. If you do this in the middle of the cruise, you'll love that you actually elected for those days. If you do get a spa pass, you do have to pick a date. I recommend doing it in the middle of the cruise just so you can reset, revive, and get ready for the rest of the trip. All right, people. What are we about to do? Crab walk. Crab walk. Crab walk. So we are on the cruise. It's our last sea day. Tomorrow we're off the boat for a little bit. So we're going to do the grog walk. Uh, starting at the drought house. And I think we go to like five or six places. Bring us some drinks and some bites. The men are coming with us. So we have these fancy masquerade masks. Can't wait to see what's in store for us. Here we go. This is our uh, Sailor Signature Tradition book. So the beautiful thing about this book is uh, you're here at the end of your voyage. So you might want to write a memory. Any memory. We do not care what it is. It can be anything random. Okay. All right, you ready? So she had to do the same card. You had to do what? Find some with a unique talent. We had the same cards, we just made it. <laughs> nice. You gotta live your life yep. to get the, the alcohol done. Yeah. We spent a lot of our evenings at the manor. Every night is a different theme party. So make sure that you just keep an eye out again on the app, on the event lineup, so you know when to go. Each the time that you go there, it is a different experience, but it's still so much fun. It is our last full day here on the cruise um, and we are at Bimini, which is in the Bahamas and we're going to the 
basically the beach club. So there's a private beach club that Virgin has um, when you get to the Bahamas. And because we are rock star status, we're able to go to it's called Richard's Retreat, which is similar to Richard's roof deck on the boat. So we're heading there now. We just got off the boat. It's about 11 o'clock. We slept in this morning because it's been quite an adventure. Uh, the sun shining was a little gloomy this morning, but the sun is now out. So we're on our way in to, like I said, experience our last full day. That is tomorrow. The ship docks at 6.30 a.m. and we will be back on our flights, heading home um, and, and back to the everyday grind. Upon arriving at Pamini and getting off the boat, you'll walk down the port where you'll actually get a ride over to the Virgin Voyages Beach Club. The Virgin Voyages Beach Club at Bimini is so vast. There is a large pool, there is an area specifically for rock stars, and of course there are different places to lounge. There are cabanas, there are bars, there are places for you to sit and eat. There's just so much to do and to sit there and relax. We opted to head into the rock star area where there is a private little beach for rock star members where you can find a variety of different cabanas for you to rent out. Meaning there's also a variety of different shore things, including a shipwreck snorkeling experience where you can see a variety of different sea life and just to see an amazing shipwreck up close. For our last night dining upon the Valiant Lady, we headed to Extra Virgin, which is an Italian restaurant that has an amazing menu and is also another location that is great for larger groups, such as our larger group of 10. You can start off the evening with a charcuterie board and then head into ordering small snacks, antipasto, there's a variety of pastas, mains, and of course you can end the night with dessert. For dessert, I recommend the gelato. There are three different flavors and then upon ordering, they actually bring this cart to you where they make the gelato right in front of you. You can opt in to have espresso added to your gelato so that you can imbibe and get a little bit of energy in you so that you can enjoy the rest of the party before your cruise ends. For our last night, we were back at the manor and this time to see the circus disco show. The show is a variety of different acrobatic skits that take place right in front of the stage that you can actually walk up to. It is interactive and then right at the end, the raised up stage that is in the middle of the manor's dance floor is actually lowered and the party continues. And that was our cruise aboard the Valiant Lady with Virgin Voyages. It's absolutely amazing. I highly recommend it, whether you wanna do the Caribbean craze cruise or go anywhere in the Mediterranean or go somewhere in Europe, I highly recommend taking a trip with Virgin Voyages.